Monday the 26th of August 2019, we went inside the grounds of Lytham Hall for a vintage bus running day organised by the Ribble Vehicle Preservation Trust. As usual, we came with our friends in the Borough Transport Group with 169, but the event also marks the return of the group's Mercedes-Benz 709D 572 after spending a few years off the road for major restoration. Here it is with sister vehicle 567, recently repainted in the Stagecoach Zippy livery following the transfer in ownership from the Glasgow Vintage Vehicle Trust to the Ribble Group. We start by looking at attending vehicles on static display. 1038 is a Harrington Cavalier Leyland Leopard. Here's another Leopard in Wyman bodywork. 665, a Marshall bodied Leopard, six alongside 732, a duple bodied Leopard. Sporting classic stagecoach colours, 135 is a Dennis Javelin duple. This is an Alexander bodied Volvo B10M once the backbone of many stagecoach bus services across the country. LDB769 is a Leyland Tiger Cub. VDB920 is an AEC Reliance. NRN586 on the far left is a Leyland Atlantean PD1. In the middle stands an open top Bristol VR, and on the right is an AN68 Leyland Atlantean. This is a 1934-built Leyland Lion, first introduced to Livam St Anne's Corporation as number 24 in 1935. It was withdrawn from service in 1957 and has since gone through a number of different owners during its time in preservation. Here we have an Eastern Scottish Sedan, standing next to a Standerwick Bristol VR. From left to right we have a Fishwick Leyland Atlantean, a Bournemouth Corporation Leyland Atlantean and a Devon General Bristol VR. This stagecoach Enviro 400 Scania was recently repainted into heritage livery to celebrate the centenary year of Ribble. Three three eight is a Bristol RE. This is a right-bodied Dennis Dart, now sporting Pennine livery and owned by the Town and District Group. Finally, we have this East Lanks-bodied Leyland Tiger.
one of the major obstacles the buses had to negotiate is the entrance arch, which has some very tight clearances. We now observe buses in Livermore Town Centre. This isn't something that I would normally feature, but look carefully at the driver of a Palladium vehicle. It was clear that his face didn't want to be shown, but this is not a good advertisement for Blackpool Transport when he should be concentrating on the road ahead.
Back to the hull now for the final shots of the day.
We've now come to the end of our day at Livam. Overall, we had a lovely day out and would certainly come here again in the future. Thanks for watching. Please feel free to rate and comment on the video down below. If you would like to stay up to date, why not subscribe and click on YouTube's notification bell so you don't miss an update. You can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for watching and take care.